Welcome to the Quick Stop F1 podcast. My name is Mario, and you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate it. As you can see by my very festive microphone, it's Christmas, and with me today celebrating, I'm in holidays, it's the holidays, guys, it's the holidays, <laughs> with me celebrating today, if you didn't know, she aspires to fix houses and act in Hallmark movies, she's just as nice as she is terrifying, there's no hairstyle that she can't pull off, it's my one, the, it's the <laughs> one, the only, my co-host, Tasha. Hey, Thank you, Tasha. thanks, I've always wanted to be described as terrifying, you, know, you are, you are, you really yeah. <laughs> you really are. You channel that energy. Like the mm. switch up is crazy because you're like, oh, that's just so nice. She's the best. And then it's Am like, yeah. all right, but she can also like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I, I personally would never do anything, anything to deserve the switch up. Never. Exactly. Never. exactly. There's not a fight. There's not a fight I wouldn't take you. Like I would. Like I think you'd be an asset in literally any type of altercation. A hundred percent, verbally, physically. I got. You. I'm saying it, that, yeah. it, like I'm saying. Like and not and not that you're gonna be like trying to fight because you are the per- type of person that's yeah. gonna like try and I like disarm. To mediate. Yes, you're right. Disarm a situation would be mm-hmm. is it not would be is your like first yeah. uh first try. But right. I feel like if we get past that point, yeah, it's it like it's it's I can yeah. throw some. Hands, you're you're yeah. you're coming in like no yeah. no doubt no doubt. Yeah, I mean um, that's I took funny enough that you say that yeah. I took Muay Thai for some years. So yeah, that's my. That's my. Uh, it's a good thing you say that because I forgot choice. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I, so yeah, I be forget, careful. Sometimes, you never know. Sometimes <laughs> I forget that you can kick my ass. Like sometimes <laughs> I forget that. So it's good to it's good to be reminded on air. Yeah. You know. Yeah. After you were sending me the the, careful, the really yeah. intimidating emojis, <laughs> and now you're saying that that's great. That's great. It's gonna be a great episode. Am I smiling enough? Am I smiling enough? Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> happy holidays, guys. Don't get your happy, ass kicked by me. Happy holidays, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> great thanks <laughs> hey i don't just want to talk about my very festive tree i also want to talk about your great background oh thank you oh my little um what are they hollies yes. or whatever berries yes yeah. it's it's red yeah. it's festive we're here yeah um to it's giving in- like game of thrones a little bit though right like i wouldn't the, know the i haven't watched it. what oh we've, we've talked about, about this. this and like oh it but we haven't, it, yo, we haven't talked time. about this all right <laughs> all right we gotta yeah we gotta handle that anyway <laughs> um to get into the holiday mood and not that we needed because clearly we're there um <laughs> what's something that instantly puts you in the holiday spirit and for all these questions if you need time to prepare anything i've got something ready to stall for a little i mean to answer right. for a little bit <clears throat> but what's something that like and and so just to give you a little peek of where i'm going with mine mm-hmm. it's mine is like a sense Mm, right. Mine is uh, my trigger. My my biggest trigger is a sense. Right. Like when it gets cold. Oh, it's something. Cold that's that's my that's my hint. Uh, okay. Holiday trigger for me because I'm like somebody who I am like bah humbug up until like December like tenth. You know, like I just I don't put the tree up before. I was about to ask when is the Christmas time. tree season? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think. Like you, I think you just get like a, I'm like, I'm ready kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, eventually I start to kind of like play some Christmas jazz and then it's like, oh, I'll play Mariah Carey. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm bopping around the house. <laughs> like it's a whole, yeah, it's like a whole progression. So, so it's a, it's a yeah. process. It's there's a process, nothing that, yeah. there's nothing that like, it's, we're there. It's <laughs> right. the holidays. Exactly. For That's me, how, yeah. for me, it's uh when I, um, going to college. I would, I I went to college and I lived like three hours away from home. So I would come back during the weekends mm. and then Christmas break, I would come back for a longer time. Yeah. So typically we would get, I would get back home on like the 21st of December mm. and it, it's been finals. It's been everything. And I get home and you open the door and immediately a, the, we, we typically always had a real Christmas tree. Yeah. So the smell oh, of yeah. the Christmas tree yeah. slaps you. At, like <laughs> as soon as you come in the door and that's yeah. when it was like all right it's no christmas more time. no more no more thing about grades and stuff man it's it's christmas time yeah yeah real christmas it's, tree scent is like so nostalgic it, it is yeah. it is yeah. what well, i i've had fake trees and like i'll just 
I don't know, this is weird, but I'll go to the place where they sell Christmas trees. Yeah. And I'll just get stuff from the, not from the floor or the ground, but like I'll ask for like shavings that drop and stuff like that because that smells. And then I'll just put that inside the plastic tree. That makes sense. I usually will get, um, I have like a bunch of like oil diffusers, a bunch of oil diffusers and they make ones that are like pine or... And it's oh. nice because, or like, you know, it's just some like wood scent, but like, yeah, same thing. Like I will make sure that the house kind of smells like a real tree, even though yeah. the tree is not real. Uh, candles also work really well for that. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. It, I'm reading. Or I'm shavings. Reading this. I mean, tree shavings is also a great. Hey, option, a real yeah. Christmas tree is, is always going to be my, <laughs> my preference. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so the smell, I'm conditioned to the smell is like, yeah. and then on Christmas, Mm-hmm. It's music. Like music yeah. is what really like sets the mood for the for the yeah. whole day. Yeah. For me on Christmas, um, it's watching um oh my god, a Christmas story. I was literally Christmas. about to I was yeah. literally about to ask you mm-hmm. for a Christmas movie. That's crazy. Oh you yeah. And so me. You on and Christmas me. Day, it's a Christmas story, but okay. every day in December is Home Alone one and two. Like on repeat. So every night yeah. when I fall asleep, I'm watching Home Alone One or Home Alone Two. It's yeah, because we have we have yeah. some producer notes. I don't know if you I don't know if you didn't see the producer notes. Yeah, I did. Yeah. He had oh, okay. Okay. Because yeah. Home Alone starts yeah. December first. Right. Is what our producer <laughs> is saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I I don't know is I don't know that I have a like a Christmas movie. No. Um, it's definitely maybe a Christmas movie. I've talked about that movie like so much so. recently, but I don't Doesn't remember. it take place during Christmas? I think, I think there's a, I think there's part of it during Christmas and I mm-hmm. think I've watched it a lot during Christmas. So I think yeah. that one, but in my household, we watch basketball <laughs> and we don't talk about feelings. Nice. No, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it, uh, but no, and the NBA has like five games the whole, the whole day. Really? So yeah, wow. Christmas is like their day. Right. Um, Interesting. For like the barely NBA fans that I'm, I'm running right, into, apparently there's not knew. that many yeah. fans. That's so but, crazy. Um, so Watch it's like the, the whole day. The whole day, it's basketball. So it's drinking, it's napping, it's yeah. waking up, it's eating, it's drinking, it's napping, mm-hmm. and then just watching basketball games all day. And nice. like, but now, oh my god, I've been going forever. But now we, I've got nephews, little nephews. Yeah. So like, the vibe is just like we feed off their energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really yeah. sweet. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's it's a great time. It's a great time. Yeah. Um, have you ever? Do you have? And let's be clear: gifts aren't everything. Material yeah. stuff isn't everything. Mm-hmm. It's just tied to the holiday. So this isn't like the most expensive, the most luxurious. Mm-hmm. That's not the question. The question is: Is there a gift in your life that is very memorable to you? Ooh, wow. It could be because of the story behind it. It could be of who gave it to you. It could There's be how so they gave many. it to you. It could be like, and you can, you can, it's, you don't have to give me one. The rules are loose here. You okay. Get whatever you want. This one's kind of an oddball one because it's not really a gift. Because you said it. I dog. mean, yeah, no, no, yeah, I keep going. Came from my dog, um, Winston. Uh, he was an English bulldog. Shout out, Winston. And we love shout you. Shout out, Winnie, little we angel. We love you. My angel. Um, but yeah, so one year around the holidays, we took him to go get, uh, um photos taken with santa yeah right and he we didn't know when we went to the mall that there was like this competition for dogs like the cutest dog santa photo people would vote for it on facebook and then the winner would get a trip to florida but we didn't really know this (laughs) florida we right of all places uh hey i live here (laughs) i can make fun of it (laughs) <laughs> You're like it only works when I do it. Um, ah, yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, so we went and took we went and took Winnie to get photos taken with Santa. It's my favorite photo of him ever because him and Santa are having like a slay off. Like they both are just <laughs> serve, serving in this photo. And so um, but we take him, we forget about it, we buy some prints, whatever. Yeah. And then like a few months later in the mail, we get this like letter, and it's like, you want a trip into this resort? It's at Port St. Lucie in Florida. No, Port St. Yeah. Lucie is so nice. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. was that? What is the, I can't remember what the resort was called. Um yeah. But anyway, so the, all inclusive, everything. And I read the letter and I was like, this is fake. Like, this is some shit. I, would, yeah. I didn't recall any of this I would, stuff yeah. prior. So I was like, this is fake. And I like halfway wanted to throw it out. And then I went on like Facebook because I remembered about the dog photos and stuff. And like, I saw like all the like votes and Winnie like won and people were like voting. I didn't even <laughs> vote for him. I, I didn't vote for I him. I would have voted. Wait, 
No, 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 no. I'm a horrible dog P- mom. Play that back. Even, Play yeah. that back. Chris, Chris, did you vote for Winnie? We did not vote for Winnie because we didn't remember or re- we didn't know that that's how they were doing the competition. Damn, so y'all didn't even, y'all didn't even game no. it. No, you didn't exactly. Game it. He Winnie, won. Winnie won on merit. It's Winnie won on straight merit. Merit. Yeah, pure merit. <laughs> so that was, and so that was, um, so we went uh, actually in December and it was like my first time in Florida in December, which was like crazy because I remember feeling like so like, I don't know, like weirded out that it was so warm, but there was like Christmas decorations everywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was like, it, yeah. it, cause I'm, an, I'm on the, I totally see that. Yeah, I totally see that. Totally Mid Atlantic. So it's always like cold yeah. or snowing or something. So it was like a very different vibe, but yeah, we went to Harry Potter, um, magical wizarding world. That was like the first Shout time out. I went. Shout yeah. out. I'm a Potter, I'm a Potter head or I was for two weeks. Not yeah. anymore. Oh, darn. Well, We'll see. It was a great two um, weeks, though. Great two weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, we had like a blast. I mean, we had a blast in Florida. That was like so much fun. But yeah, that was probably like the most like randomest, most memorable Christmas because it just came out of like nowhere. And it was for a dog. So, that's, yeah, that's shout out. Winnie. As if a dog could get, like <laughs> as if a dog could be any better. They, it gets you a freaking. That's crazy. Free trip. All inclusive. I was like, yo, this dog is amazing. my dog just like yeah. lies around, eats food and mm. like. Yeah, we gotta doesn't we gotta get her any, working. Doesn't yeah. doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> doesn't do anything. What at about all you? Do you have a memorable? Doesn't do gifts? anything for me. Um, I just want to say because you mentioned you mentioned the temperature and the weather. Yeah. Um, it's it was really it was really weird growing up in Puerto Rico because that's literally everything. And like, yeah, we we would have Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, everything, but we're on an island. Right. It's it's so hot as fuck. We're still wearing shorts and t-shirts and stuff. And then the thing is, like, all the movies you see, every movie you see, yeah. if it's Christmas, it's there cold. is snow. Exactly. Or people are wearing pea coats and, like, all stylish and shit. And I was like, <laughs> it never felt like Christmas to me, 100%, 99%. Right. But, like, the last 1% was like, oh, man, what's a white Christmas like? And right. Like, yeah. And Have you experienced one since? I, I did. Okay. Um, I've experienced snow. In the cute form. And then one time I went to Colorado and I experienced the inconvenient snow. Growing up in Puerto Rico as a person that speaks Spanish mostly and not English from a very young age, mm-hmm. I learned, um, I I went to a school that was very conveniently uh, located. And it turned out that that school was mostly in English and not Spanish. And we didn't know that, but it was so conveniently located. And when I say conveniently located, I mean like basically in the corner of the street where we were growing up. So it was perfect. Um, So I learned English like basic, very basic English, relatively young. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fast forward to when I was like, I don't know, still young, but older. Um, My grandmother and my grandfather from my mother's side were very excessive during the holidays. And like mm-hmm. would would give their their grandchildren everything. I had, super excessive. It was crazy. <laughs> so I knew where they hid the Christmas presents mm. at their house. And you know, kids will be kids, right? And and I go uh, and I go to the place when the, oh damn! Now that I say it, while they were at <laughs> church, oh, I no. snuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you to the the place where I knew the the presents were, and yeah. and lo and behold, I see a um, a Nintendo sixty four, and young me is like, oh my god, right? We have made it. We're here. <laughs> we are here. Nobody we have talk a, to me. Yeah. We have arrived. <laughs> like I'm not going outside again. Right. Um, but um. One uh, next to the next to the Nintendo sixty four was a video game, and mm-hmm. it was The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Mm. It's a game. It's a game that I knew nothing about, right. and at the time, I remember my reaction because I remember how dumb I was at the time. I remember my reaction was like, <laughs> "The if you see the back of the if you see the back and you see pictures of the game, is this little dude? It's this little dude like in a full green outfit. He looks like an mm-hmm. elf almost." And yeah. I remember saying, why would I ever want to play it like this green, this game about this green elf? <laughs> so fast forward to Christmas and I, I get the game and like, it's, it's very like, it's corny, but it's not. But like right. that game taught me English, a lot of English. Cause like you cannot, not, you cannot 
not read. Right. Oh, you yeah, have, right. That All game the yeah. makes you read. Like, there's no way to clear that game without reading stuff and, and hints and stuff like that. Uh, so, like, it forced yeah. me to, like, push my, re- my, my reading comprehension right. and stuff like that. And it was, like, a gateway to, like, learning. I also learned through music and stuff like that. So, I remember yeah. that gift because I remember how childish and, like, stupid my first reaction was. Right. And it literally is, to this day, probably the my favorite video game because oh. of, like the experience and the and the emotion behind it right so so i never forget like that's because so cool. I, I i don't know why i remember so vividly like me saying like i don't want this green elf game right because <laughs> you're so, like don't know what that is yeah <laughs> yeah and it was, yeah so that's that is so cool. my that is my one gift that i never never really forget yeah the gift that keeps on giving now you uh-huh. speak beautiful english <laughs> uh-huh um, as, except when I have to say chair and chair and the singer chur, it's never mind. Oh, um, yeah. Speaking of gifts, oh, segue nailed. Um, <laughs> what we've prepared, Tasha didn't tell me the full concept of this, but what oh we've prepared God. together is Tasha and I have put together a 10 items. And because we are so meticulous, we might she have cheated a little bit and yeah. said like a category and then put some items in that category. But the <laughs> point is we've got 10 items mm-hmm. that Tasha and I have not seen. What mm-hmm. by that I mean, I made my list, she made her list. Yeah. We have not seen each other's list. Right. Really cool concept, right? I wish I knew it before the before it's like a, today. You but know, listen, but she's listen. like, it's not a competition, but it's it kind of is a competition. No, it's it not. It's a competition. It's a gift guide for you guys at mm-hmm. home. Mm-hmm. The holiday is fast approaching. Maybe and if hers are cooler it. than mine, then that's no problem. <laughs> I was gonna say you can also maybe bookmark it for next year if it's a little too late for some of these. But yeah, we just us being like, late. No. Create some, you know, fun gift ideas for the F1 mm-hmm. lover in your life, whether it's mm-hmm. you or somebody else. And yeah, it's not a competition, Mario. No, absolutely not. It's for funsies. We yeah. also we also <laughs> tried we also tried to be very uh diverse in price selection. Yeah. Um I chose some that I don't know that I I, t- I can tell you I can't afford it, but it's there. <laughs> it's it's F1 adjacent. Right. I can't have it. But yeah. if you can buy it for someone, then Go off. Good for you. Yeah. Treat yourself. If you are on Spotify or on <laughs> Apple Podcast, not only leave us a five star review, but also consider uh, coming over to YouTube and watching. We are going to be posting, like Tasha said, the comments, not the comments, the links in the description of the video. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. And then the we're also going to have like the pictures of the items in the video yeah. of the podcast. So maybe the video would be a little bit better than the. Yeah, audio this time cues. yeah yeah we'll try to this not try we'll describe the item either way <laughs> and we'll talk about it and yeah. we'll see how much better tasha's is than mine that's the last oh time God. i promise that's the last time i'm still <laughs> I'm, you know you know i'm trying to be professional here um all right, all right let's say we've Yay. got movement all right so first off i believe we have tasha's item yeah okay so this is for uh, let me just preface this entire thing by saying I'm shocked that we're starting with I'm shocked that we're starting with one I'm shocked yeah well one I'm a Capricorn so that means I everything is practical for me um I I have fun but you know I just think that practical gifts are the most fun uh to give people so keep that in mind and yeah and also the second thing the second thing is a lot of these are based around Lewis Hamilton okay so no what (laughs) no Um, so the uh, first what? What was she doing such a thing like that? Um, so the first gift, because I think this is actually kind of cool. This is mm-hmm. a subscription to Masterclass. Lewis Hamilton did a Masterclass where he basically teaches a winning mindset. So if you've ever felt like, man, I really want to get my shit together. Lewis Hamilton is so cool. How does he do it all? He basically has an entire course where he breaks down all of his like thought processes, all of the ways that he's able to like get organized. And like, it's just a really cool concept for... Um, a gift, especially around the new year where we're all trying to like, you know, glow up in our lives. And yeah, I just thought it was kind of fun. So they're currently, it's, um, you can't buy just the course. You have to buy a subscription for Masterclass, which is cool because it also gives you access to like all the other cool courses that they have. You can do gardening, you can learn singing. It's just like a really fucking cool website. And it's mostly like celebrities and famous people teaching you their ways of like how to be great um, and whatever kind of, um, you know, medium that you want. So, but yeah, I thought the winning mindset was kind of cool. And yeah, so it's 120 
for the year. And they're running something now where you can buy a uh, membership for yourself and you can gift one. So basically it's like two for one. So yeah, that's my, that's my first gift. <laughs> <laughs> you said we were doing Formula One related stuff and then you literally yeah? put Lewis Hamilton giving a masterclass. So I now that? I have to ask you who on the grid would you give this to? Ooh, a winning mindset. I would give this to Lance Stroll. Um, get in there, kid. Get in the okay. game. He needs um, a lot more than that, but okay. <laughs> well, let's just start there. You know, let's just yeah, start there. Yeah, that's a good start. That's a good start. Um, yeah, I yep. think like a lot of, I think a lot of everybody could probably use this to be quite honest. Like Chris chimed in immediately with Lando Norris. Lando, and I yeah. think that is a good answer. <laughs> good answer, Chris. Good answer. I agree 100%. 100%. Maybe, maybe, uh, Leclerc as well. Yeah. Maybe would be a good yeah. one. Yeah. Um, if you taught a master class on anything, Tasha, what would you teach it on? Oh, um, today. That's a great question. Today. And obviously, you know what I mean. You have me thinking too much. Let's see. What would I give my master class on? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm like good at, to be quite honest. I probably Sorry. like, probably like, um, like a photography course. I think I would help people do like either product photography or um, photography, the, the like classier. environmental. Yeah. <laughs> I just like showing, I don't know. I just, I enjoy like uncomplicating photography. I think it can be kind of complicated if you look it at it from like be. a purely technical standpoint. Yes. Whereas I feel like I, you can be really expressive with it and there's like ways to get there without having to like, you know, um, uh, overanalyze or overcomplicate what it is. So I think it, yeah. Photography. That's good. What about you? <laughs> I have no idea. Good answer. I literally Thanks. just thought of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Ooh, ooh, probably something, I could do something like, uh, something around focusing on what's in front, not, 20 steps ahead mm, of you and something yeah. with like public speaking because pu be I, I I don't know why but public speaking is is something okay. that comes pretty good to pretty nice. okay to me so yeah something like that something like that something like that not not an amazing winning mindset though uh, we're, already, <laughs> we're already at a great start because once we see the 180 that we're about to do with oh my, my pro with what I have first on the list um if you try to get this uh winning mindset but you realize that really can't you know that's too difficult and you need to you know after a long day of not really having that perfect winning mindset you just need to like relax take some load take a take a load off you know that's where my products come in that's where my mm -hmm. first ones come in so chris can we please get my number one item please <laughs> it's alcohol it is nice alcohol forget forget your mental Everybody, forget <laughs> bettering your mental, everybody. For, this is not the time to be a better person. This is the time <laughs> to celebrate and drink and eat. And I'm obviously kidding. I'm just trying to sell my product. But this is a Danny Rick uh, wine. I also, ah. uh, yeah, yeah. I really, I, I think that's a that's a good like cross section between a F, an F1 fan and just a fan of yeah. wine in general. I think nice. that's a that's a like easy way to get someone asking, where do you get this wine from? And you're like, let me talk to you about Formula One. And then eventually <laughs> you get thrown out of the party. Oh, um, I also... Idea. Oh, Shiraz. I do like Shiraz. <laughs> there you go. I also put down, and I think this is even better for the mm -hmm. even more fan of Formula One, is the other link that I put there under alcohol. Wait for it. <laughs> this is what happens when you cheat and you put more than two, more than one link. And then... Ah, you know, it's so funny yes, you just have this. The Ferrari. I put, the I put in yeah. the Ferrari. <laughs> my thing is, my thing is they have one for like each different track. I didn't know yes. that. So you can uh -huh. click around and the, they have it for different tracks. Yeah. My question is this though. Do you drink it? I Because mean, I kind of vibe with it like just having the bottle. Mm -hmm. But I also don't believe in wasting anything you know especially alcohol yeah I also mean, it'd be fun to collect i would buy two because there is no way in no way that i'm not trying the thing where you smash it and you try to spray champagne oh yeah like, there's no way i don't try that there's just no way i don't try that nice <laughs> yeah. if you had to choose between actually scratch that what would be the alcohol that you would want to make mm, i think i would be 
a Pinot Grigio person. So um, fancy. So classy. I just, I don't know. That's probably, that's my wine. That's what I like to drink. Um, I do like champagne. I do feel like, I mean, there's so many stipulations on making a champagne. Um, but I don't know. That, that would you know, be like I'm not too. asking, hey, hey, hey. We do, we're not asking yeah. about regulations and stuff like that. Relax. Yeah. I, well, I, won't, I won't report you, I won't France, report you, you anywhere. Make it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I would make whiskey. Some sort of whiskey. Whiskey's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's go to number two. Number of those. We can start with mine or we can start with Tasha's, whichever. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I'll go. I actually, uh, also speaking of Danny Ricardo, um, I love his Enchante merch line. I think it's really cool, especially like a good like cross section between like F1 fan and lifestyle. So for me, one thing I really enjoy about F1 Sundays is like the experience. We Christopher and I always like make coffee, make breakfast. Yeah. So something like this gift for me is actually something really cool. It's like a collector's item, but something I actually would use. And it is the Enchante cup and saucer set um, that he has on his website, which is currently a white and red motif. And for me, stop, I just stop stop describing things so well. I just feel I just feel like this is such a cool gift. I think there's like a ski chalet theme for this collection that he has. Um, but yeah, I just like I for me, it's just like such a cute gift. It's thirty five dollars, which I'm like it's a little it's, it's egregious, but I I do feel like it since it's a collector's item and it's limited edition and nobody else would have it. It's worth it for me. So yeah, I like it. I like it Washington a lot. Day. Yeah. Um. <laughs> My race day tradition, most of it is I wake up in a great mood. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this before, I think. I don't know if we've recorded. We've talked about this during recording, but like we love to like these podcasts are so fun. Oh, yeah. that one's really nice too. But on Sunday, you wake up like, I don't have to take notes. I get yeah. to just enjoy this. Just chill. So like I wake up in a really good mood and like depend and I like I gotta walk my dog before <laughs> the race. Yeah, and my dog basically knows when she hears the F one theme, mm -hmm. she just chills on the couch and she's like, "I, uh, like, uh, oh, wait, we're yeah. not going anywhere for a while." Huh? <laughs> and that is her reality. I really like the checkered flag one. I really like it. Yeah. Oh, that was so. I have a second cup because I yeah. again I like uh, the idea of like having checkered flag stuff in your house, and so this is a second cup and saucer set. I think it's twenty nine dollars. Um, from a company called Matter Matters Gallery. And yeah, it's just kind of cute, like subtle nod to F1 and racing. And um, again, just something really nice to have in your collection. You know, a little coffee. I like it. I, like it. Yeah. I, I too drink it's coffee. Cute. I yeah. too drink coffee. It's cute. <laughs> not, in fancy, not in fancy chalets like that. Wait, is that mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of race day... I have one TV. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, when you yeah. were saying practical gifts, I was like, God, at least I, at least I did like, at least I, I, there's a cross section there. Yeah. Um, so I watch, I watch on F1 TV. This isn't an endorsement to like, for like everyone on F1 TV. This is more so an yeah. endorsement of like, I use it every itself. weekend. Yeah. It works. Um, you can change through different camera angles mm -hmm. or better said, like camera points of view. So you can actually have every driver, um, each driver's uh, on board. You can have the actual race uh, broadcast. Mm -hmm. You can have the uh, metri telemetry data uh, on the screen as well. So I really like all of that. Um, yeah. I don't, I feel, I feel okay about paying $80 for it yeah. because it works and it has previous like, previous highlights has got i've watched a few shows mm -hmm. um like they've got documentaries and stuff because there's not really that many other than that braun one that released on hulu recently yeah I, I haven't seen any like documentaries that like are like really good or whatever so when i had like wanting to when i wanted to learn more i went they have documentaries on the origins of each team so so yeah. i That's looked at those one. and they're pretty good yeah um so F1 TV, yes. Yeah. It, it, Especially like last minute too. Like if you don't have no other ideas, mm -hmm. you could definitely just do this. Like, give them a little no, card the, saying what they got. Easy. And then, yeah, it's mm -hmm. so good. That's, I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, like that's all you need. You need F1 TV subscription. <laughs> Again, none of this Perfect. is an ad, but let them know. Yeah. And we'll, we'll take money gladly. Right, right, right. <laughs> all right. All right. Next uh, okay. one. So next up for me. I love this. I love it so much. The Race Weekend Magazine issues. They have it. five issues. I 
thought that the world champions issue and the Las Vegas issue would maybe be two that would be great to gift um, right away. They're about 30 to $40 per issue. They're large format photo like magazines, gorgeous, like exclusive photography. The Vegas one for all the Lewis Hamilton fans, they have a letter from him and Takashi Murakami for their collaboration that they did this past race in vegas um so that's like exclusive exclusive photo it's just really cool and i, I think I, like if you're a race fan and you want something yeah. kind of in between like a coffee table book and like a magazine like this is like the perfect gift yeah i saw a lot of the vegas one yeah and i love it yeah like it looks so cool and like yeah i have no notes it's a, it's a, it's it's insane yeah. like it's so cool, it's cool. um yeah. there's a there's a world where there's just a, anybody anybody with a coffee table like it would yeah. be a cool coffee table book. And it's a collector's it's item. A like I, it's, it's so cool. And you really like for me, it's sports photography is like, I feel like sometimes, especially like in different like niches, it can all kind of look similar, you know? So like race photography or uh, F1 photography, that's just a little I, bit more like street style, lifestyle kind of vibe. Yeah. That's not so like pin sharp. It's more like a feeling and a vibe. Like to me, like that's what, like I love in photography. So I think that, you know, seeing stuff like this, um, it's kind of unique and you, you can't just like go and pick it up off the shelf. You have to order it. So I think there's that element to it as well. It's just really cool. I, I yeah, yeah that, that's a great one. Yeah. If anybody wants to get me that one, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, speaking of cars. Yeah. <laughs> I found this website where you can buy car parts, F1 car parts. Wait, like that's awesome. from cars. <laughs> That went round in circles. Just like look at anything that, look at that Williams F1 carbon fiber and titanium something. <laughs> look at that other BMW Williams F1 race gear. Have nice. you ever wanted to own a car part and like, yeah. I don't know, put it on display somewhere? Look, we have I more a couple parts. front wings. I think There's a cool. steering wheel. Like <laughs> forget, forget an insanely cool magazine to have in your, on your coffee table. How about a gear? <laughs> That's super cute. I actually really like the stereo. The stereo rolls are so freaking cool. Yeah, these are cool. Um, yeah, no, I really, I actually really like it. Um, I found this very, I hate to say random, but yeah, I found it surprising that there was a website for all this. I know that yeah. F one has like signed stuff that they sell of cars mm -hmm. and stuff, but I, I found this uh really interesting. Yeah, really yeah. cute. So yeah. if you want to, I don't know, would you put out this? I don't know. I don't know what I would do with these things. But you can make cool ornaments. <laughs> No, yeah. actually, you know, what would be really cool is if you get a part, they, um, I don't know in other countries, but here in the States, we have a company called Framebridge that have like shadow box, shadow boxes that you can get. So you can okay. send in like items, like keepsake items, and then they'll like frame it inside like a thick, like box for you. That's glass. So like you can basically mount, mount different things. So like if you, you know, get like a little... I don't know, gear or something and you want to have it displayed. It's really cool. Yeah. I mean, so you can combine that. So basically you can find a part, get it uh, in a shadow box and then you have like a really cool displayed gift. Look at the helmet. It's so sick. I'm going to end up, <laughs> uh, if I, two more years of F1 of right. this podcast, I'm going to get myself like, an anniversary gift. It's gonna be, you're going to be, I'm going to do an episode with a helmet on two years from now. If we're still, nice. all right, <laughs> putting a pin in around. it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm still around. Um, I said I'm, not we. Right. I said I'm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my gift, my next two gifts are from Lego. Um, if you're a McLaren fan. Do you ever heard of Lego? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very a niche brand. Niche toy company. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. Like, I think for an adult, for kids, you can do it together as a family. But this is the Lego Technic set for McLaren, which is just their race car. Um, and it just looks really really cool it's also kind of a big model as well and then the other model that they have is for the amg f1w12 and the mercedes amg project one car so you can kind of make them together this is a smaller set and i don't know just like a little bit i think easier to build but still i think a lot of fun something again you can get for a kid an adult anybody on any level i think would enjoy like playing with the lego set we have it here at the house. Actually, we haven't built it yet, but um, two questions. Just, yeah. Okay. Question. Question number one. What's up? Who is the better builder of Legos in the household? Oh, it's Christopher. Christopher is. I would classify him as a master builder. I have asked him 
many times to just apply for a job at Lego. It's he's got like an all white set that has no instructions. You can just build whatever you want. Yeah. So you for like architecture or stuff like that, like he's like if you want to know anything about Lego, you need to talk to Chris. That's the guy that you need. Question yeah. number two. Have you yeah. watched Lego Masters? We have. He did I not finish the season because uh, he got pissed off at some of the contestants. He's like, they're annoying. Relax. It's a it's, show. Uh, he can't chill for nothing. So Just um, chill, bro. It's a nice, yeah. wholesome show. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Will Arnett is there. Nothing Will Arnett is on is that serious, bro. Ever, 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 ever. I'm just, but he yeah, must be fuming right now because I'm talking like this and he can't give, <laughs> he can't give me his opinion. He must right. be like, all right, wrap he's this like, up. Never, dude. Yeah. No, but these Moving cars on. are, yeah. these cars, I would, there's no, I don't put an age on this. Like I, yeah. but that's because I love Legos. I love yeah, Legos. they're cool. Yeah, I like Legos it a lot. Fun. These are, these are great gifts. I they are fun. It. And you I notice a lot of like celebrities too are playing Lego. Um, I think Kourtney Kardashian always posts about her and her kids playing. It was like a basketball player recently. In oh, Miles Preston. Turner is a basketball player yeah. who literally has a seven foot figure in Lego of Darth Vader, oh, okay. but he, Darth Vader, but he doesn't have a Darth Vader doesn't have the helmet on, and instead of being Darth Vader, it's him. Huh. So it's it's a life, it's, <laughs> it's and it's a and it's seven feet because he tall because basketball, right. but that's like wild. it's great, and that's just one of the things that he has. Yeah, um, and it, we're talking about this because it's, it's like literally it's really relevant. It came it came out yeah. just the other day. He just the other it. day, yeah. <laughs> I I almost I almost tried to pull an audible and change the order of these because yeah. just when you show the Enchante stuff. So I did an alcohol section, but then yeah. I had to do a strictly Valtteri, Valtteri section because Valtteri nice. has this coffee blend. Mm -hmm. So it's his own coffee blend yeah, with Syzygy, but he also has, and I'm guessing that one came before the other. I'm, I'm guessing this one came before the, the other. Mm -hmm. He owns a coffee company. So yeah. like if anybody is a coffee lover and wants to try new coffee, he That's has smart. his own coffee company called Kai. Oh man, Kaiwa, Kaiwa. I would say Kaiwa, probably, but what yeah. do I know? So <laughs> he owns that coffee company, but yeah. wait, he's a mogul. There's more. Mm. Other than coffee, he also dabbles in the art of gin. Dude, oh, yeah. Dude, Chris I'm nailed the that. timing on these. Oh my God. Anyway, um, <laughs> so he's also got the gin. And then mm. what I did find not interesting, but but pretty cool is that in this one, if you scroll down a little bit, it's him and his partner. As well. Oh, yeah. On, it, it looks like this is a joint venture between them. Yeah. So Oath, yeah. Jin. Also Oath. Kind of corny, kind of cool name. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So if you get the Enchante coffee thingy, then you can get the Valtteri Boltas coffee. Exactly. Hey, synergy. Exactly. We didn't plan this at all. Because Tasha didn't want to yeah. tell me. Oh my what God. do we have next up? I'm going to drop right, it. I so swear. I have a section. I'm going to call this books. Um, I have two I different... Have few different price points for books. The first one is little uh, Lewis Hamilton, Little People, Big Dreams. Ooh, can I say the author name? Yes, please. Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegara. Ah, and uh, there's also Ayrton Senna is uh, another one of the books as well that is in this little series. It's just really cute. And I, I mean, again, you could give gift this to a kid, but I think anybody who's a fan of any of these drivers would just appreciate having them in their collection. Um, and again, $12, I think it's a pretty like, you know, affordable way to to collect something. Second book is how to Let build me, a car. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I uh, you can't do this. I I I did this one. Did you? I think so. Um, no. But on the other <laughs> on the other book, I wanted to say two things. Yeah. Pretty cool that it is a book you can get at Target, not yep. because Target or, or anything, Amazon. but because so mainstream. No, but yeah. I find. Target a lot more main, like that it's in sh on shelves. Yeah. Um, the other thing, the I really like the cover. The colors used for the cover on the previous book. Yeah. Really, really, it's nice. really pretty. Yeah, it's um, such a nice book and really well illustrated. Yeah. No, well. I definitely yeah. put down this book. Yeah. Uh, so I guess this is the me. book we both have on our list. Uh, How to Build a Car by Adrian Newey. And again, I think this is just one of those things that's like, I think if you're an F1 fan, I think you have to have it. I mean, it's. It's Adrian Newey. We seen we have seen this man's work. Um, so I think We've it's suffered just, from this man's work. You know, so I just feel like you know it's suffered just a cool in thing silence to have. and with respect. <laughs> and exactly, exactly with admiration. Um, with admiration, absolutely. But yes, yeah, and that's thirty five bucks. Um, again, just like I think a fun kind of nod to F one, obviously. And if you have a friend who's you know likes this kind of stuff, technical stuff, technical drawings, um, I think it's full of all that cool information. 
And then if you want to get like a little spendy and you want to like oh, I, I, have something you going real work? nice. Yeah. If you want to have something on your coffee table that's just a little bit like of a flex and you have $1,200. It's not a flex. Spend. Nobody's going to know how it's a flex. it is. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to be like, I know, I know exactly you could, what that is. You um, have a Formula One podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the Formula One Impossible Collection by Asseline Books. This is, I don't, I mean, again, I don't know what makes it $1,200 to be quite honest. It's a coffee table book. I, when I clicked on this link, I expected it to be like 150 bucks, like max, you know, cause that's how like much my fashion and art books tend to be. So I wasn't expecting it to be $1,200 to be, to be honest. You don't know what they did. What they, yeah. what they did was there's this machine where <laughs> you put in car components and it becomes pages right. and then they printed it on that. Mm. Um, it does have a luxury metal clamshell. Uh, oh, excuse me, a luxury clamshell case with a metal plaque. <laughs> it's lightly scented with an exclusively made rubber infused essence. That's And sick. it's presented in a red canvas tote bag to preserve its craftsmanship. So I can't put it on the coffee yeah. table. I mean, you could. I would. You know, the thing I would get with this is they make these um, really cool like coffee table book. Uh, it's, it's like a little like stand, basically. Yeah. So you could like flip to a page that you like and then it kind of displays the page that you want. So I think that would be kind of a cool companion gift to, to something like this. But yeah, if you if you want to throw the black card down on the table, boop. If we're still here, if I'm still here four years into this, then I get them. <laughs> then we get it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know if books is my next section, which is okay. okay. It's a okay. oh, I think it actually is. That's crazy. So there's this Mine's book sorry. called How to Build a Car by Adrian New. <laughs> 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 um, I it's uh, it's I don't want to I don't want to dive super into it, but it is honestly pretty interesting and pretty cool that that yeah. you and I actually landed on. Yeah, like it is insane that you and I literally just look for for gifts and yeah. landed on similar things and then something exactly alike. Yeah, like that's no, we crazy. have a couple of exactly like things actually on our list. That's crazy yeah. to me. Um, so I did also put <laughs> Gunther. Gunther's, I, I, oh my God, how, how shameless do you have to be to call it surviving to drive? <laughs> like how shameless, like, like just say, look at me. I wasn't trying to survive. People love me. Just say right. that. Um, so those are my two books. I guess you already spoke about the Adrian Newey one. Yeah. And then this new n number one Sunday Times bestseller, Surviving to Drive by Hunter <laughs> Steiner. Um, I just want to say that uh, the Times called it fearless and candid. And, <laughs> you know, yeah. if that doesn't describe Gunther Steiner, I don't know what does. That It's my book. I, can't I have another, I have another book say. section, but it's like for <laughs> the kid. I wonder if he did like an audiobook version. I would actually like want to hear I him would narrate this book. Absolutely love that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he did, but I would absolutely love that. Yeah. There's an audiobook version there. I can see it right there, but yeah, I wonder who just, reads it. We need to, hmm. Yeah, we need to find out. <laughs> hmm. uh, we'll update t TBD on that. Yeah. What do we have next up? On so the next we had, I, I also had the uh, Ferrari sparkling wine on mine We're as well. We're both alcoholics. Right. Uh, but we can skip that. We'll go to my my next one, which is for if you're going to in um, in person this year to a race. I think something cool to get for yourself or for other people would be the Loop Experience Plus earplugs. And they're 45 bucks. But I thought these were kind of cool because like from going in Austin, I do remember like how just loud it was. Yeah. The ambient like crowd noise when everybody was cheering really loud. And obviously when the cars are flying by. So if great for the vibe, your, great yeah, for the vibe. But like, if you want to protect you're your, yeah, while. you're there for a while, for a couple hours. Yeah. And so um, in general, like this is a cool gift, I think, to get for somebody who's going to be experiencing stuff. Obviously, you can always um, take it to concerts. You can use this. I read a lot of people were actually using these just in their normal day to day life, like to drown out um, uh, like the volume. I think the what makes these cool is that they um, drown out like the certain like amount of decibels in each pair of earplugs has like a different volume that they can filter out so yeah it's just like kind of cool something that you can fit in your bag or you know in your pocket and take with you places they come in all kinds of different colors and um like silver gold pink whatever you know fits your vibe and yeah i just thought it'd be kind of cool for something like in person you can wear it on planes if you travel a lot i was about to say pretty yeah. useful for a plane as well yeah so yeah. 
practical. I told you. <laughs> yeah. There's this really cool thing about living in, in Orlando, Florida. It's really fun. Yeah. It's that when you travel for work like I do, and then you travel to Orlando, Florida, you know what? There's always on the planes are kids. There's kids always. Kids, kids, oh, always yeah. kids, always kids, mm -hmm. always kids. And you know what? You need noise canceling because kids are loud <laughs> on airplanes. I Absolutely. have another book, but speaking of kids, yeah. if you have kids that aren't loud on an airplane, I really like this book series. I actually found out about this book series uh, a long time ago because of I bought the NBA version of it for my nephew. That's and so now cute. I'm going to buy the F1 version of this for my nephew. But basically, yeah. the book is the format of the book is the alphabet A through Z. And then for every letter, they'll put a reference to Formula One, a really easy one. If you go to the letter H, it's H for Hamilton. And then so it gives cute. some info about Hamilton. So it's I need it, that. Yeah, I really like it. Um <laughs> I read it I read the NBA one to my nephew, so now I'm gonna get the Formula One one. Yeah. So like I teach him about Formula One, he teaches me about the plights of Peppa Pig, you know. <laughs> It's a really it's a symbi it's a cultural it's a, exchange. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We, I, can't, I can't be just enforcing my like, here's this cars go vroom, you know, I gotta, right. listen, to his, I gotta listen to his stuff as well. You know, nice. Peppa Pig gets in some stuff, you know, Peppa, gets, Peppa gets into some stuff. You Peppa's know? spicy. I have seen clips of her on the internet. I'm just like, wow. No wonder kids these days have so much like smart shit to say. Yeah. Um, oh, we've got the next one already. Well, what do we got oh. here? Ah, okay. So for me, my next up is a little pricey, uh, but this is tell for the people, tell the people what the a fans. little pricey means. This is for the fans. If you value your cognitive, you know, like reflexes and you want to like, you know, make yourself more sharp, more focused. Basically, you want to train like an F1 driver. I put the fit like fit like oh, training dope. system on here. This is what they use pre-race to like. I know what that is. Just test the reflexes. Yeah. Um, but it's cool because you can use it in different applications. So like if you're in the gym, you can uh, mount it different places and just, yeah, I don't know. It just was kind of cool. I was like, you know, I cool personally do. would be super don't cool have uh, $750 for some, some lights, but <laughs> if you do, and you think this is something that you think you benefit from, I think this is kind of cool. There's an app. Yeah. To, what, if we, um, what if we program our Christmas with, lights? Yeah. To like turn on and off at certain times and we pretend yeah. to be doing it. Just like boop. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I thought this no, was kind I, this of fun. Is really like, dope. This is I really dope. I think Ferrari, I think the uh, Ferrari uh, F1 team uses this brand. I don't I've know. Seen, yeah. Oh, this brand. Okay. Because I've, seen, I've yeah. seen, I know I've seen Lando and Max do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. not sure what other brands there are and what the price ranges are, but this is the first one I came across and I was like, this is so That's very, like, that's fun. a cool, yeah. that's a very cool one. That's yeah. very yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> Um, speaking of feeling like a Formula One racer, Whoa. get you a simulator. <laughs> That's look, crazy. Look, look, look. <laughs> I, if my younger brother wasn't around to stop me from doing stupid shit, <laughs> I would maybe own one of these already. But mm -hmm. like, words cannot describe how fuck, but like, you know, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? All you can do is simulate racing. It's so Hell sick. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I do want to go. I do want to go to the Formula One Ooh. museum in London. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Um, there's a Formula One museum or something like that where they they have all these racing sims. Yeah. I went to. I I went somewhere one time, but they didn't let me play with it. But like, I honestly wouldn't want to own this because it's like, imagine. But like, yeah. <laughs> it would be so cool to do for, for at least for a day. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, do you think, because I know, I know you don't like, like, shooting games. No. Um, do you play racing games at all or no? Absolutely. Absolutely? Yeah, I love so racing do games. You think, do you think you and I, a day in the simulator, do you think there's a competition? Yeah. You are I don't wax with you. me on a Christmas. I don't wax you? No, you don't, actually. There would be no way in hell. I'm there sorry. Would be, and, we, and I'm going to give you practice because be you're going to need it. Day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> God, I hope we can. I hope one day, man. I hope this happens one day. I'm gonna give I do too. I can't wait. Did you ever play you. Crazy Taxi? I did. This is that isn't a race game. Right? Yeah. What is it? It is. Yeah, you know? it's a racing game. I mean, you race against the clock, basically. You race yeah. against time. Ooh, yeah. you're so competitive. I just thought it was a fun game. Um, <laughs> there's different price points for these because, like, look, I'm a very, I'm a kind of a racing simulator myself. I mentioned it yeah. sometimes. I barely talk about it. I never mention it in episodes. Never. But sometimes I put in some laps, but like I have like a, 
thing you hook up to your computer that's a Logitech steering wheel. And then yeah. you can you can buy like a little mount for that, which is a lot cheaper, like hundred dollars and stuff like that. And then it, it helps a little, but this is yeah. this is like next that's level. Like, next yeah. level. Oh my. That's that's me being yeah. Yeah. Invite Mario over if you buy this. Please and thank you. Yes. Please and thank you. I'll bring Coquito. <laughs> oh, I have a whole story about that. <laughs> uh, oh, it's this me is next. so funny. Okay, this is so good. This so, is so good. Lewis Hamilton. You know, like I said earlier, a heard lot of, of these items. Yeah, heard of the guy. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool, like for anybody who's interested in the scooter that he uses around the paddock like there's a brand um it is called blunt and envy uh lewis rides on the heist frame and it's basically like a lightweight aluminum scooter has like a really cool uh deck on the bottom but they if you scroll the website they have like different um like colorways and different like designs and stuff like that you can kind of like play around with but yeah it's just like if you want to ride around like lewis um and right now it's on sale. It's two sixty nine, dollars which I was like, that's kind of a good deal. It's actually really affordable, to be honest. I was expecting him to be on a way more expensive scooter, whatever that means. Um, <laughs> but it's probably, yeah. it's probably like really light. Yeah, really light. And that would um, be important for like for tricks and travel stuff like that. and all that. Travel, tricks. Oh, tricks. for tricks. Yeah, yeah I think it's more like Hamilton, a professional. Lewis Hamilton is doing tricks and shit. Well, but Danny, I think Danny Ricardo, there's like a photo that Chris pulled up and Danny was like doing like some sort of like jumping thing with it. So I, you, I'm sure I think they you do. can compete if, with these, but yeah. F1 racers on scooters, yeah. like I'm sure <laughs> with all the time they spend on it, like I'm sure they use it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. Wait, I put, okay, so I have two more to go because my last one is a duplicate and I didn't notice. Okay. I have a few talk about more. talk about expensive. Um, <laughs> so I put down the IWC and Richard Oof. Mill watches. I don't even know how to spell it. That's how broke Richard I am. Mil? Yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I just can't afford a Richard Mill. Like. <laughs> uh, but the IWC watch collab with uh, the IWC watch collab with Lewis Hamilton and the Richard mm-hmm. Mill collabs with literally every team. That was really so nice. Sick. They're I like so the sick. watch face. Yeah, absolutely. And the co- I is, like the do you know color. what the I, color is for? Is it like something just specific no. to the? Okay. No, I don't. It's nice no, I do not. Color. Yeah, all but my watch says, colors faces are white. So I love it so much. I love the <laughs> completely the. I'm more of a like full color light, and so the whole green one is mm. cool. But the Richard Mail as well. Um, you know, the thing about having a Richard, I'm gonna the, an RM as as we call it in the business. The thing about having an RM is you can live the life of Carlos Sainz and Leclerc. And by that, I don't mean owning one. By that, I mean getting it stolen and then chasing behind it and recuperating it and then posting on social media about how you did that shit. Okay? He did that, yeah. He did that. And you can do that too. You can buy it so that you can get it stolen. That's what, you know what though, but I love that about them. They're like, y'all are not taking, these watches are insured. They can probably get brand new ones made, but they're like, no, it's the principle of the matter. You're not going to punk me like that. No, never, never. So not when my I'm watch. five foot nine and I weigh 109 pounds, like you're not about to just come take my watch from me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh, I love that. <laughs> what do we have next up from you? All right. So I picked next is a checker blanket because, again, I like the checker motif for racing. I think that, you know, obviously it's it's just duh. So if you want something in your living room that's comfy, cozy for race day or for whenever, I thought this was kind of a cool gift. It's um, hand woven, 100 percent cotton blanket. It has this cool, like colorful, like fringe on the outside. So for like a little bit of personality, but it comes in like three different sizes. You can customize it i've seen uh there was somebody who got like words um kind of knitted Ooh, into it so yeah. if you wanted to say something uh if you wanted to say a name a location uh anniversary date whatever i just think i don't know i just think something like this is really cool and there's like tons of checkered blankets available on the internet but i, I like that this was like customizable i believe you can even like pick colors so if you have a team that you kind of want like they're like a you know yellow red for a ferrari motif or whatever um yeah i just thought it was kind of cool and i'm a race day like i said I, I love experiences on race day so a comfy blanket some coffee like this is so my vibe so yeah and it's neutral so it goes with most people's decor yeah i can go on forever about this blanket by the way <laughs> <clears throat> would you wave it <sighs> probably not i feel like it's kind of heavy but i mean that wasn't the question if you want to like knock everything over in the living room at, after a race yeah sure or not I would yeah. wave it. That's my problem. I would wave it. 
That's his, that's his my problem. Right. If honest. If we're honest, that's, a, that's a me problem, but I would wave it. <laughs> um, my dog would look at me like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, um, I really like again, it. Yeah. Um, before, I, I do want to say, before I talk about it, I feel like we could have done uh, an episode on Etsy things alone. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I think, like yeah. There's Etsy is a stuff. great place yeah. to go for F1. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there's everything there. So, th- yeah. so we could have definitely. I'm, and I'm happy that you and I both had the same idea of like not relying on it exclusively because we could have. Yeah. Um, so this last one for me because I I did my homework, but I got a nine out of ten because my tenth one is a duplicate. I just found out, <laughs> Chris. Um, so my last one is. Um, so I went with I went to Europe last year for the first time, and part of the trip. Uh, we went to the Netherlands and because the, I said the, yeah, the Netherlands and then Amsterdam. And then because mm-hmm. the Netherlands has amazing polo transport, um, it was very easy to get to Zandvoort, which is where the Dutch Grand Prix is. And as we walked into the track and everything, and there was no security and there was no nothing, mm-hmm. we, we went all the way to the, so my, my thing when, when we do stuff, well, like when I do stuff like that, my thing is, I, I walk around like I like I'm supposed to be there, and then when somebody says you're not yeah. supposed to be there, I'd be like, "Okay, are you sure?" And he and they're like, "Yes." And then I, "Okay, cool, bye." Um, <laughs> so we got all the way to the to the to the paddock, okay, and not even the paddock, the garages, like, and they still have chalker. They like they have the Red Bull garage is always marked, so it mm-hmm. has Max and Checo there. So we saw that where they put the cars and everything, but we we nice. stumbled upon groups of people and long story short like we're talking and we were able to do hot laps and nice. it wasn't wasn't like because we were on vacation everything like it wasn't that expensive like it was $99 for yeah. five laps and it was very fun and very cool and obviously Sandbird isn't the only place you can do that I checked out mm-hmm. a couple others and there's most tracks where you can do that so it's nice. you can just remember that I guess as something that I learned that day is like you can do a hot lap whenever it doesn't have to be in a formula one weekend for yeah. the tracks that are already there always yeah i think that's but yeah cool. that was a very fun thing that i did Memorable. so if you're in zanford around hot laps are cool and they're fun i love that that's also shout out f1 destinations <laughs> love it that is my last one yeah oh no okay so i have like a few more than you then. that's fine so that's maybe fine. i'll like cut mine short then or you don't that's okay. fine too We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So my next item is actually for the kids. Um, it's, get some STEM. I need the kids to get into STEM. Uh, so this is the Kano computer kit. It comes with a Raspberry Pi. Um, you can, basically, the kit comes, you build the computer. It has the enclosure for the computer. You can have a keyboard. It has HDMI to hook to like any monitor or TV, whatever it is. But the OS is basically developed so that kids can learn coding. They can learn how to make games. They can play games. Uh, It's just like really fun and really cool. So if you have somebody, you know, young in your life that you see that they're kind of like interested in computers or, you know, maybe they are have expressed that they want to like do coding and like fun stuff like that. I think this is a really cool project. They can pretty much build it by themselves. But again, this is something you can do with them and teach them how to code. This this company is really cool. I actually have the Harry Potter a wand that they've made a few years ago, which also teaches you coding. So you can learn Wait, what do you mean? for Python. Um, there's a, there's a, a like smart light, wand. Different lights? Um, no, what, so what can you program? Is my, what can you program? So it teaches you coding. Uh, I believe I was learning Python. So it takes you through like all of the little like initial steps of, um, you know, here's what the, here's what the language is. So it kind of like, can you make the wand do though? The wand is basically like a conduit. So there's an app that goes on your iPad, right? Yeah. So you can kind of like wave it. Um, and it's Oh, like, that's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can like wave it. Uh, I don't know. It's just like. That's so sick. Yeah. Different motions do different things. So it's just like a fun way to like learn how to code because it it's something fun. Yeah. And I think your brain, I think you tend to process things better when it's like, you know, something memorable. So yeah, the the wand is really fun, but I was thinking like the computer would be fun. And it's also really like, I mean, this is $3.99, the one that I'm talking about, but you can also just buy a Raspberry Pi alone mm-hmm. um, and you can build whatever computer you want from that. And I think those are usually like under $100. So 
yeah, yep. this is just kind of like everything all in one. But yeah, there's different ways you can take it. And I just thought like, yeah, uh, F1 kids or people who, you know, want to see their kids maybe have this job at some point in their lives. Like this would be a cool place to start. Absolutely. I love yeah. this. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So my next gift gifts that I have are from for fragrance because Lewis, like uh, Lewis Hamilton mentioned in an in interview recently and nothing in Vegas um the two fragrances that he layers together and I thought this would be kind of fun um it's a deep cut you know so if you didn't hear that interview maybe you don't know what I'm talking about so if you have a if you have a loved one that loves Lewis Hamilton this is a deep yes, cut this is a this special is a deep one. cut yeah they're gonna be like why did you give me this but um so <laughs> the first you one don't know the, him like I know him you don't know him you can say um, that to them imagine <laughs> that'd be so so good so the first two the first one is from tom ford uh this is their private blend discovery set i think in general discovery sets are great for fragrances because you don't some people just aren't aren't into you know picking things out and this is just a great way to give them a bunch of shit and be like which one do you like the most which one smells best but the one that lewis wears is oud wood which is in this set the set is 58 dollars um and there's some other bangers in this as well so i think you'll like any of the five that are included in this but that's the one that he wears layered with the replica um, by the fireplace, which is in the replica memory box sampler set. And um, I have two different ones. There's one that's $39 and you'll get the whole range of the replica by Margiela um, fragrances. Again, I think they're all pretty amazing. And um, But the one that he wears specifically is by the fireplace. And then if you want like a slightly bigger one, they have a mini coffret set, which is $75 dollars and it also has it in it but you have less fragrances to choose from but that one's a bit bigger and i don't know they're nice for traveling you know again it gives you a good range of fragrances that you can like play with learn how to layer them if you're not familiar with like how to do that but yeah lewis wears oud wood and by the fireplace and i thought that would be kind of like a fun way uh stocking stuffer for you know the the hardcore lewis hamilton fan who is apparently knows all his business <laughs> Like you think people I put that you yeah. think people put that on the pillows? You just like uh I don't know if I would put Tom Ford on the pillow. I would spray it before bed. It's just like it's so expensive to be honest. Like I only would put it on my skin. Like I'm not going to spray it on anything other than my skin. <laughs> I'm sure you know, but I am going to sp- Oh, r- 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 real quick. I got a I got a thing with a perfume. Yeah. Um you obviously know JC Penny, right? Mhm. So JC Penny, for those who don't know, is just a department store like Macy's or Sears or a Dep- right. Burlington or I used to be a menace at getting this those perfu- little perfume samplers <laughs> at JC Penny. Ooh, you could have stopped you me. Most of my perfume you was were just samplers. Like making them? No, no, I they, love would, they would samples. give them out. They would give oh, them yeah. out. So yeah. I'd be a menace. I would just go around and around and I would stuck up. As I, I had cool water. I had Curves <laughs> by Jean Paul Gaultier. Oh, yeah. You that's know? A yeah. Like, ooh, that's like, I mean, I feel like samples are the shit. I have like, I have at least 40 maybe at this point. But like for traveling, so you don't have to bring an entire bottle with you. Again, just trying different fragrances, stuff Do that I normally still wouldn't. put samplers in, or is that something for? Um, the yes, youth? but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they do it any as much. God, we're old. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> All right. That that was, that was my perfume bit. Go ahead. All right. So the next one. This is uh. This goes with our our Valtteri Bottas, Daniel Ricardo coffee kind of vibe. A little, a little this different price wanna, point. If you want to pull your own espresso shots at home, like a pro. This is the ECM Synchronica Espresso Synchronica. Machine AMG Limited Edition. So this is basically a collaboration with Mercedes AMG. It has some like AMG like detailing on it, on like the grill of the um, of the espresso machine and has on the side. It's a gorgeous espresso machine. I'm not going to lie. Like it's um, all like stainless steel. It's got like all kinds of dials and like this is for pros. Okay, this is for pros. I have a little espresso machine that I struggle with <laughs> from the Longi, and uh, it's, it's doing the job. But this is like if you really just want to take it to that next level. Um, the price is thirty seven ninety nine. It's on sale, I believe, from thirty nine ninety nine. Um, Yo, two hundred dollars off. Let's go. Right, if you want to, you know, spend like four k and have like some of the best coffee of your life. But yeah, I thought this was kind of fun. <laughs> um, Christopher sent it to me and I was just like, this is crazy. Like, this is like disposable income. Yeah. I don't know what else to buy yeah. with my... Yeah, this is for you. This is for you. I, like I hope it. it pulls good shot. I mean, 
for that it much. Must. I would hope so. All right. Another tech uh, kind of gift. This is not really F1 specific, but I do think, again, experiences are fun. This mm-hmm. is the Govee TV backlight. This is the three light. And basically, it's like LED strips that you put behind your TV. And as stuff's happening, it lights up in those colors. So like imagine like an Aston Martin's driving by or the McLaren's driving by. And it's like this orange or like teal <laughs> glow on your yeah. wall. It's so freaking sick. And you can use it for anything. You can use it for like movies, whatever you want. But yeah, I used to be like so against like LED, colored LED, anything in the house. But now that they're so like smart, like the technology is so Mm -hmm. like cool and interesting. I kind of have walked that back a little bit. I'm like, I would not mind watching like a night race with like this on. That would be sick. sick. Like just sick. So I think this is like kind of fun. Again, it's like not F1 specific, but I do think it would enhance your F1 viewing experience. I want the light (laughs) to reflect the tires of the driver I'm watching. So if he's got soft tires, give me that (laughs) red light. (laughs) Right. Give me give me that blue. Um okay this one's kind of fun. Another like Takashi Murakami kind of gift. I can't believe you have more Takashi Murakami stuff than I do. My when my brother listens to this he's gonna be like I'm shocked. Drop the ball. Just kidding. Um, this is like a Tamagotchi. So this is like from the 90s. If you had one, like the little pet that you could carry with you and feed it and love it and all that stuff. This is just a flower. So basically it's, it uses his like smiley flower uh, theme that he always does. And you basically plant a seed and then you just like nurture your flower. And I think that was kind of, it's like kind of fun. Um, definitely a collector's item. It goes like with your t-shirts from the plus 44 uh, collab that he did for Vegas. If you have any of that, or if you missed out, this might be something kind of fun. Or if, it's for, a, or if it'll yeah, never collector. arrive. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be waiting forever, but in the meantime, we can take care of our flower pet. So I thought this was kind of fun. Maybe like a stocking stuffer. Um, can I add a bonus Murakami yeah. thing? Yeah. Chris, can you search New Era Murakami hat? Because I think it's the one thing that there was nothing like it in the Lewis Hamilton drops from Murakami yeah. and it would be a great compliment to the collection. <laughs> um, it's a sick hat. Um, Did it just come out? No, it came out, it came out a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you can get it mostly on resale, resale like StockX and stuff, but it, it isn't that much. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it's a new era Murakami hat. Nice. We can I, I don't know if you found it or not. <clears throat> um, yeah, Ooh, no, that's a that's, beanie. Oh, but beanie. that's really cool. That's really cool too. That's that really cool nice. too. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. The hat is just like is, is just a just a hat, but has all the all the flowers all around it. it. Is yeah. very cool. It's hmm. very cool. Yeah, I do um, love the flowers. They're super cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of flowers, um. You My, have more? How many did I? Oh, there it is. Two, That's I the one. That's exactly the yeah. one. I have that one. I love it so much. Which one? The, the black the, one? For, first on the left. Like very first one. With the... Yep, that's the one. Oh, it's nice. I love yeah. it. And it's like all around. It's got flowers. It's really cool. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. Like Sorry for the audible. Thank you, Chris. No, it's fine. That's yeah. great. Uh, but yes, like I said, speaking of flowers, if you want another stocking stuffer idea, I thought this was kind of cute. This is a pollinator wildflower seeds. This is for the Sebastian Vettel fans of the <laughs> world yes. uh, or people, you know, I just thought this was kind of cute. Um, obviously you can go buy seeds from anywhere, but these are like kind of fun. They have like the starter in them. So like, I think like a coconut core. So you just take it around your garden and sprinkle it or wherever that you feel like you want to drop it. But it's got like seeds to attract bees, butterflies, pollinators for your garden, basically. And yeah, I thought that was kind of fun and kind of cute. I think that's super cute. Yeah, just something like kind of chill. Like, you know, yeah. it's just something fun. Um, and then the last thing, this is a little last minute one, was the she customizable... She told me 10 and she brought 15. And she says she's I, not trying to I, win. I, I said earlier, I was like, do we want to call this list? And you're like, no, it's fine. I was like, all right, whatever. All right, moving on. It's the customizable dog harness. This is the one I think that Roscoe wears. Actually, it is the one that Roscoe wears. Um, the it is? Four, four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's exactly the one that he has in different colors. So it has like a bunch of different colors. You can customize the patch to say, you know, your name, their name, whatever. Do you want and, it? And yeah. Do you want it? Oh, she's like, I need a harness. Do you want the harness? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Stop being she's like, wrap this podcast up. I'm ready Jeez. to go. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of cute. Super, like, I didn't know. I didn't know there pets. was. 
I, I don't know. I never looked that up. Like what? I always was curious. I was like, which one does he have? Because I, again, Winston was an English bulldog and we had, we went through so many different harnesses for him because bulldogs are just interesting to walk. Um, So you need a harness. And so, yeah, I always see the one that he has with Roscoe and um, I've always been curious which one it is. And it's this one. So 35 bucks, like I said, customizable, bunch of different colors, looks very sturdy. Uh, very easy to get on and off. And Good doggies. Yeah. <laughs> there's doggies on. Come to YouTube. There's doggies. <laughs> Dogs and harnesses. But yeah, that's my list. That's everything that I could think of possibly that you would want to gift an F1 fan. Um, and yeah. This was Hope fun. you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. This was fun. <laughs> Next time on the look. No, I'm kidding. Um. Huh. Are we going to do anything for the rest of the rest of the off season? You think we'll be around? Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm just kidding. We definitely will. My, yeah. We've got some we ideas. We've got some stuff <laughs> planned. Um, I guess we should say just one last time. None of this is an ad. None of this is commission or anything like that. We just put together stuff that we thought was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, which one was your favorite? Did you have a favorite? Did you find one and say... Or like, is there one on mm. your list that's like... I wish I not I wish I had this, but like if I could have anything, it would be this. Is it um which one was it? There was one I was like, yeah, I would definitely I definitely love the Go V thing. I thought that was kind of fun, just because it's something I wouldn't typically do. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, now the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I wanna and I wanna have a fun experience watching even if I'm losing, you know? Every what do you race. mean losing? Oh no. No, we're talking about holidays, holidays, holidays. holidays. <laughs> um, definitely the race weekend magazine. I thought like I'm a cl- I'm a magazine art book collector, mm-hmm. so uh, this is 100 percent something yeah. that I would want. And then the masterclass because I just feel like I need that. I need the winning mindset. I need to know how to get my mind correct. You know, to to reach yeah. a goal. You know, reach my goal. So I think that like, and obviously it has other classes on it as well. So it would be kind of a fun gift. Um, I'd always yeah. thought like everybody, everybody has like a, a a moment in time where you're binging a show, and I always thought like, what if what if I have like a two weeks where I force myself to binge just master classes and just learn a lot of like random stuff? It's gotta it's be more productive. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we did um a while a, a few years ago. We had um the Aaron Sorkin master class he did for screenwriting. Yeah, and that was really cool. I mean, it was just it's just interesting seeing like professionals and people who are like experts in their field spend time teaching you how to do it like you know the regular every day so yeah if you want to learn screenwriting singing how to be uh you know winner by lewis hamilton it's i don't know i just think it's cool is there one how to be a better podcast host because i will maybe watch that one (laughs) i'm gonna be right there with you (laughs) with that if you're still with us thank you very much if you get any of these let us know just yeah. because that'd be cool. Um, we are a little <laughs> late with it next time. We didn't know we were going to do this. So, you know, if you liked it, if you want to see more of this, we'll do it next year and plan accordingly yeah. and not put it together in like a day. But fun as always. I, mean, I really yeah. like that we had similar things. That's a vibe. Yeah. Um, I would love to hear from the people on what would be the perfect gift for race day. Not not like what would be the what's that what's the thing you want that would be perfect to use on race day? Is it the blanket? Is it the coffee set? Is it F1 TV? Is it something else? What is it? Let us know. What is your secret? Is there any voodoo dolls that we need to know of <laughs> that maybe more people could use at the same time? Who knows? If you are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, leave us the reviews, the comments. Um, Tasha and I are gonna be around. We've got some ideas. We you know, we're, we're, we have fun here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anything else we need to plug or anything? I think, I think. No. Other than, other than happy holidays and hope yeah, everybody enjoys. Hope we all have happy holidays. And we really appreciate you listening. Oh, yes. Thank you. Stop the by the stop. Quick Stop F1 yeah. store for also any holiday gifts. It doesn't have to even be in the holidays. It can be anytime you want. QuickStopF1.com. <laughs> Is that is yeah, that's so sad. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, thank you so much to everybody. Um you'll see an episode from us at some point next week. Um I've been Mario. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Mario underscore APM. Tasha, where can the people find you? 
You can find me at Tasha on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, that's it. That's all we got for you today. <laughs> Take us away, Tasha. Thank you guys again for listening. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun to make and to discuss all of our picks. That was like so much fun to do. And um, yeah, hope you all be are safe and happy and healthy and all of that good stuff. And remember, no matter what happens in life, keep it on the black stuff. Bye. Bye. Look, mate, if you've got this far, clearly you like what we do. So here's a link to subscribe to the Quicks of Pet Fun family. Give that a click. And here's another link to some more cool on our channel. Sorry, cool, cool stuff, stuff, stuff. And remember, no matter what happens, keep it on the black stuff. Click the stuff. Click the, click the links. Click the, the link, the links. Click the links there. There, there.